If there's no risk, there's no story and there's no legacy, so yeah, that's my motto in life. You have to move if you want to progress, you know. I love Takoyaki. It's different between like and love. Um, love more. It's more. How long he studied this for? Long grai shio stara. Kikko hayai shio de san kake do grai de. Oh, like three months. Oh, three months. Oh. <laughs> well, it's it's not that hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was like. I do go. I do go. Pulls me, you know. Like when the first time I I order and I'm so hungry and so excited and then when I try to bite it, oh my god, my tongue feel burned. <laughs> so, nah, I'm just gonna wait. Hmm. I'll swim. I'll swim. <laughs> still, still hot. But how's the taste? Amazing. Amazing. As always. As always. You know. When I eat takoyaki, mm -hmm. it's like I want to cry because it tastes so good and I agree because the calorie is amazing. <laughs> How many times did I have to burn these calories? Like, but then it's just good, so it's worth it. There is no leak in my country and how can I improve my skill if there is no leak? Just only training with the boys but there is no competition, so that's why. I went to abroad um, before Japan. I used to live in UK for four months and play football there for like fifth division. Uh, I stopped playing football in UK for four months. I get a lot of experience with the team and stuff like that. And I got opportunity to go to Japan from my agency. They said, um, Sarazo Osaka, I want to see you from Japan. And then I was like, oh yeah, why not? Because J Japan is amazing, you know? Of course, I feel happy and proud that, uh, that I'm the one, but actually I'm not the one. I need, and I want more people can be like this as well. Like, if there, even though there's like no leak, Keep like motivating people, because that's all. That's all I. That's all I like to do. I like to making history for myself and for the country, and I like to motivate people as well for myself and for other people as well. So I feel like I wanna change. I wanna change something. I wanna change something to become more better. You know, I'm. I'm having a broad like this is actually to open a door to people as well so that they can play abroad, abroad and then actually many people have uh, opportunity to play abroad but the thing is they're just scared they're scared to get out from the comfort zone they're scared to be the first so let me be the first and then let me show you guys it's not actually that bad to to get out from the comfort zone actually get out from the comfort zone in the beginning yes it was hard but if there is a will there is a way all you need to do is just do it that's all I mean, if you want to be success, don't, don't, don't scare to take a risk. Because no, if there's no risk, there's no story and there's no legacy. So, yeah, that's my motto in life. Like, just do it and then get out from the comfort zone, man. I mean, you cannot just stay there. You have to move if you want to progress, you know, or else you're just going to stuck and then not going to improve anything. So, yeah. Uh, I want to say, don't be scared. I mean, like, especially the the football, the, the, the girls who like playing football, and knowing that we, we still don't have a, a league and then the academy for girls, and you like to play football, all I'm going to say, don't be scared to play football with boys. Don't be scared to be different knowing that you are a girl and you play with the boys. So what? What's the matter? Uh, gender equality, man. I mean, like, 
football is for women and boys so just do it just don't be scared to be different because since when i was a kid i i don't ha i'm not even playing with the girls because there's no academy football for girls so i play with the boys team i come having competition with the boys team and i'm the only one girl in the team okay in the beginning it was quite like different because oh my god i'm the only one girl in here it's like i don't have anyone but then so what? When you're on the field, when I already touched the ball, I forgot about everything. I, I even forgot that you're boys. I thought, I thought you were a girl. So, if football on my feet, I forgot about everything. Even the problem that I have, I forgot. So, I just want to say that just keep doing what you love. Just don't be scared about anything and don't be scared to get out from the comfort zone. That's all. Step by step, yeah. Knowing that it's just the first time that I become professional and from the country that who doesn't have a leak, it's not easy, of course, for me. Of course, it's gonna be hard and to become at least play as much as I can in the Wii League. And the second one, yeah, hopefully, that we can become at least top three in Wii League. Yeah. Well, what I heard from work and smile is more like you work, you, you work something like me as a professional soccer player. Um, even though like I always tired every day because the training session is always like high intensity and then, and then playing under the sun, you going to like atsui, atsui, very atsui and then playing in the rain, but it always brings you a smile, even though you're tired, because you play football with your heart, and um, it's your passion. So, even though it's tired, but it makes you happy because football is your life. So, that's all I thought about, like, work and smile. Okay? Thank you so much. Yes, no worries, no worries.